I want to welcome everybody on, on behalf of the Waitley Select Board. I would like to welcome everyone here to honor Veterans Day, but also to be a part of this rededication of a tremendous amount of work and effort that's gone into recognizing um, all those from Waitley who have served uh, in, our, in our previous wars. You know, I was thinking the other day that veterans are the fabric that brings us all together. When we talk about where were you in history, you reference the, the, the times when, when wars took place, you reference who served. It's the, it's the true segment of the population that we reference as the, as the bridge to who we are in our history. And it's remarkable. There's really no other population segment that we do that with. And that's testimony right there to why Veterans Day is so important because these people have served, these people have been community members, and they have reminded us, and I see this all the time with the involvement of veterans, they maintain their commitment to community. And it's something that we sometimes forget in this society, the importance of community. And their service is not just when they put on the uniform from the day they put it on to the day they take it off officially, but it's that, it's that community spirit and, and effort that I think we also should remember because it's, it's in their DNA. And I wanna, I wanna thank all veterans for that DNA, if, if you will, because community is really important. Um, so my name is Jonathan Edwards, for anybody who doesn't know that, um, maybe, I don't know. Um, I want to thank the committee, and I'm referring to notes here, and it's throwing me off because I rarely refer to notes, and so I'm, I'm, I'm off my game a little bit. And if I have to put on my glasses, I apologize. The committee who put this all together, Alan Thackeray, Larry Ashman, Ray Belisle, and, and Jim Ross, they all deserve an incredible round of applause for the work that they put in. Jim, you have to remember to keep emailing, though. I don't want you to become a stranger now that this is over. Um, I also want to, and you guys should raise your hands, you four. And then I also want to recognize the other veterans we have in, in uniforms that still fit um, back here. I also want to recognize Sanam Stone for this impressive work that he's done here. and. Thank you for a 50% discount making this truly possible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip a name here and go to, um, I wanna recognize AJ Bear from Snows Landscaping. I, I wanna recognize um, the incredible contribution that Ruth Leahy made she contributed funds from um, a, a, a fund that was put, put together uh, in the memory of her, of her late husband. And this was her goal uh, since his passing. And so thank you so much for that. I also want to recognize that, again, none of this happens without the Community Preservation Act. The CPC made sure that this project had enough money to not just be okay, because okay isn't okay. They made sure that there was enough money to make it a wow. And so Alan Sanderson is the chair of the CPC. He, he drove making, pu putting the money in place uh, to the tune of about $21,000. He was a true leader in making sure that funding was possible. Donna Wiley and Judy Markland, are you guys here? I see a hand, but I don't know. Who, oh, it's, it's Donna. Um, you know, the, the work that they put in to try to maximize the, the funding that this program got, or this project got, uh, the time they put in to this and other things that, that make community important in Waitley is, is phenomenal, so thank you. Um, Historical Society, Derricka Smith. Where's Derek? is she here? Part of the coolness of this <clears throat> is that it's an expansion. We've had names from World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, 
But we never had names from French and Indian War, Revolutionary War, Civil War, War of 1812. And the amount of time that she put in to find 300 additional names. And let me tell you, because we were part of Hatfield at one point, to make sure that, and, and hello to, to a Hatfield select, former select board member here, to make sure that the names were actually Waitley geography. It's an amazing, it's an amazing feat that they did. Um, sort of the last person I want to thank, um, because he really did drive this. We've been talking about this for four, five, six years to make this happen. Um, I also want to thank the Waitley Inn because they've been a great partner uh, for for this to happen. But Keith Bardwell. Um, this doesn't happen without him pestering us on a regular basis and, and working with Jim to make sure that it, it, it works and to have his crew. Uh, it, it's just been, his, his work has been endless. Um, you know, Keith, I'm pretty sure you've got family members that will be added from the Civil War, which that tells you who runs this town. Um, the Bardwells are, are, are part of or, or Waitley. Um, so think about it. The guy who drove this, and I don't think he drove it because he wanted his great, great, great grandfather to be on the plaque. He wanted it because it's important to Waitley. And the fact that, that his family goes back probably, probably before the Civil War, like 500 years, uh, is, is a pretty, pretty amazing thing. So thank you, Keith, very much. All right, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Um, so people know the plaques will be put in place soon. They are not ready yet, so when you wander around, you will not see the, the new plaques. Um, they are in production right now, uh, and they will be added, but they're making sure that the name, that final names are, are added. Um, but they will be, um, they'll be displayed on a flat face stones on both sides of the monument, the new plaques. Um, we've also, something that's, you guys will love this, something that makes this unique perhaps not just to Waitley, but the norm is not to include members of the Army National Guard, Air Force, and Naval Reserves because according to Jim, and I just learned this, they are not considered veterans. In Waitley's eyes, those people who served in those branches while they were residents of Waitley are absolutely veterans and they've been as important a part of, of, of that community. And, and benefiting who we are and making us who we are as anyone. So we're adding those names and, and good for, for Jim and others and the committee. Um, I would also be remiss if I didn't mention Fred Barron, uh, one of my colleagues on the select board who is here. Um, former select board members, Alan Sanderson, uh, Fred Orlowski, and I don't know whether I'm missing anybody else and I apologize if I am. So now, I am going to stop talking, um, and you guys will all be happy about that. And I would like to introduce a, a very dear friend of mine, um, our state representative, Natalie Blay. Good morning, everyone. It's good to see you all here today. I'm State Representative Natalie Blay. I represent the 1st Franklin District, which includes 19 towns here in Western Massachusetts, spanning Franklin, Hampshire, and Hamden counties. It is really my honor to be here with you all today uh, and to recognize not only your efforts, but the state support that went to this project to make it happen. Uh, this has been in the works, as, as Jonathan mentioned, for a number of years now, since about 2018, if not before. And it started with a State Historic Records Advisory Board grant uh, according to the CPA application. So I, I did take a look at that and was very glad to see that we're not only using those CPA funds, but we are also able to access those other state resources to, to support this effort. I wanna thank uh, the select board, the, the veterans committee, Jim Ross and, and your team. This is really incredible. Uh, the historical Sci society and the CPC committee. Thank you very much for your efforts in making this happen. You can tell by how many people are here today that this is a true community effort. Uh, and the fact that you also supported local businesses like Sonoms and like Snow and Sons Landscaping uh, really means something uh, to the families in, in our region as well. Uh, this is really built with a lot of heart. 
and you can tell that this is the heart of this community. So I want to thank you all for, for being here today on this Veterans Day. My dad is a Marine. My brother is a Marine. Uh, my little brother, who's a year younger than I am, he just retired this last year after spending his lifetime in the Corps, and he retired as a Master Sergeant. I have enormous respect for him, and he likes to remind me, not only by virtue of his service, uh, but he actually tells me a lot too, that freedom isn't free. And this spot that you have provided, this space that you have provided, allows people not only to memorialize those that have been lost, but it also provides a space for us to reflect and to think about the service that so many of our military members provide to us, and not only them, but their families. And so I just want to recognize that here today on this Veterans Day, uh, that to thank the veterans who are here and also to thank the families that give so much in support of our country. So thank you, congratulations to the town for pulling this together. This is really extraordinarily beautiful. Uh, and thank you for giving this to our community. Um, now we are very privileged to have our uh, congressman from, from the second congressional district here that represents Waitley here to say a few words. Uh, I was thrilled when I heard yesterday that, um, that, that Jim was able to join us. And so um, please welcome Congressman McGovern. Well, let me thank uh, my friend Jonathan Edwards um, and uh, the select board here. Um, I want to thank Jim Ross and the committee. Um, thank you for all your incredible work. Um, I too want to acknowledge uh, Sonam Lama. I met him, and his, uh, his son is here as well uh, for the work that he has done on this uh, on this memorial. Uh, Snow and Sons, uh, we're grateful. Uh, I want to acknowledge your town administrator, Brian Domina, uh, and the incredible state rep, Natalie Blay, who's my dear, dear, dear friend. Let me first of all make an observation as I look around here. You all look good, uh, really good. It's so wonderful to be in person um, and to see real people uh, like we are all gathered here today. Uh, and it is so wonderful to be here as we rededicate this important uh, memorial here today. You know, this is a community that cares deeply about our veterans, uh, as evidenced by the fact that so many people are here today on this beautiful day with this breathtaking view. This will be a spot that people will come time and time again and remember uh, those who pay the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Uh, and on Veterans Day, uh, politicians tend to say a lot of very nice words. Uh, and I think that's important. But even more important is for us to take concrete action uh, to, uh, to support our veterans. Uh, it is unconscionable that we still live in a country where we have veterans who are homeless, where we have veterans who don't know where the next meal is going to come from, or we have veterans who don't get access to first class uh, health care. I just came from uh, Lemonster where we talked about the creation of a new clinic where we just uh, our, our, we just built in Worcester to help veterans in central Massachusetts. But the bottom line is that uh, if we all truly believe the things we say every Veterans Day, we need to work harder uh, to create a country uh, where our veterans are cared for, where our vet veterans are respected, where our veterans have the dignity uh, that, quite frankly, they earned and they deserve. Um, I'll just close with this. I, um, I'm the proud dad of a son and a daughter. My son is now 23, my daughter is 20. But there isn't a day that goes by that I don't thank God they were born in this country. Uh, I, I still believe uh, with all my heart that this is the greatest country in the history of the world. I don't say that out of any sense of false patriotism. It is just what I deeply believe, that they can grow up in a country as free uh, as this country, a country where we constantly strive to be better. Uh, and so on this Veterans Day, I. I just want to 
say to all the veterans, thank you. Thank you for your service to this country. Um, and, uh, and I pledge, and I know all of our elected officials here join me in this, uh, that we need to do better. Uh, and we will be wind at your back. So to be here at the dedica rededication of this memorial is a great privilege for all of me. And it's so wonderful to be here in Waitley and see uh, a lot of old friends and some new friends as well. So happy Veterans Day, everybody. So now um, we get to hear from the person again who, who, who drove this from the early days. Um, you know, Jim Ross, you, you've been a friend of my family's for since we came to Waitley 40, 50 years ago, whatever it was now. And, uh, and I can't think of a, of a better person to have made this happen. So thank you, and the floor is yours. Before we have our, our closing ceremony, <clears throat> I see some veterans' faces that I recognize out here. I would like you to come up on this sidewalk. Any veteran who is here, I don't care where you're from, it makes no difference if you are reserve, National Guard, please join us on the sidewalk. Colonel Boyle is right there. Please come up. Every veteran in the audience today, please come up on the sidewalk so everybody can see. This is why we're here today. Thank you, gentlemen. We're going to have our national anthem <clears throat> performed by Megan Murphy. We're going to have a three-shot volley first from our VFW post 3295. Commander, three-shot volley. One, hook, fork, arm, ready, hey. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming and the was awesome. <laughs> you girls be proud of your mom because she is a good singer. Um, but thank you so much. Again, thank you to the veterans. Thank you for Representative Blay and Congressman McGovern. It is always great to see you guys. You guys are welcome in Whitley anytime. Uh, Fred, 
Brian, or, Brian uh, Domina, as, as Congressman McGovern pointed out, thank you. Thank you to everybody. It's been wonderful. Um, and don't, don't make this place uh, some place that you don't come back to again. The benches are there for a reason, to sit and reflect whatever you want to do. Uh, if you're in line to, to get a meal across the street, whatever it is, but always use this as a place to, to remember our community and what we're all about. So thank you so much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Veterans Day. Take care.